students so in this lecture we are going to uh, learn the endospores so these are also the structure which are present inside the cell wall uh, the endospore or the spore these are the specialized resting cell formed by certain gram positive bacteria uh, for example bacillus or clostridium uh, they are highly durable dehydrated cell with thick cell wall and additional layer it can survive the extreme temperature disinfectant acid bases lack of water toxic chemical and radiation and endospore of some of the thermophilic bacteria can survive 19 hours of boiling so in short the endospore these are the resting stage of bacteria where these are metabolically inactive state the bacterial cells or the spore cells they are not metabolically active but in case of vegetative cell or the mother cell they are metabolically active so this is the general uh, cell division patterns which is followed by most of the bacteria let us take example of a gram positive bacteria say bacillus subtilis which is having a rod shape normally the bacterial cell divides by binary fission here as we know that in case of binary fission the cell this is the cell and inside the cell there is a nuclear area which contain dna during the binary fission the dna will starts to replicate then after replication of dna the septum will starts to develop right from the center of the cell it will divide the center the septum will divide the cell equally into two parts after that the plasma membrane and cell wall to starts to develop and after that the two cells get separated in equal length or equal size from the mother cell so this is normally the binary fission uh, or this is the normal cell division of bacteria but in case if the bacteria get signal that the environment or the surrounding is adverse for the survival or the back survival of the bacteria or if the environment is not suitable for the growth of bacteria then instead of choosing binary fission they will adopt for sporulation the sporulation it is a dormant stage of bacteria where the cells or the spore cells will starts to develop inside the cell here we can see this is the endospore and this is the parent cell so how the endospore is formed or uh, how the bacteria convert themselves to endospore that we are going to study so this is the endospore as we have seen this is the parent cell and the spore which is formed inside the parent cell is called as endospore the endospore is having four different layer we can see here the outermost layer is called as exosporium after that there is a spore coat which is made up of uh, uh, dehydrated cells then there is a core wall or there is a cortex which is formed by the peptidoglycan and cell wall components inside the cortex there is a core material or core which is made up of cytoplasm and nuclear material nuclear material so this is the center core then there is a cortex then there is a coat and of the, the outermost layer is exosporium and above, above the exosporium there is a mother cell so how the process of spore formation takes place or what is the sporulation process the process of converting the mother cell into spore form is called as sporulation now we are going to see one by one in first stage the dna will starts to replicate themselves in the mother cell in during this step dna will elongate themselves and they will replicate in the mother cell it will form a replica of orig original dna after that the instead of uh, uh, forming a septum through the center and the cell will adopt to form a septum either in one of the pole of the cell so either in the left pole or right pole it will form a septum so in second stage 
it will starts to form a septum which will uh, during which the plasma membrane will starts to surround the newly replicated DNA along with some cytoplasmic material. This process is called as pore spore formation. In third step the complete pore spore will get formed and uh, the plasma membrane will completely surround them. After that the peptidoglycan layer will starts to form um, above the uh, or outside the pore spore. The spore coat is formed which, which is a thick layer of proteins around the outer membrane which makes the endospore resistance to the harsh chemical and after that maturation. So, we will see the schematic diagram of sporulation process. So, this is the stage 0 where this is the vegetative cell. Let us take example bacillus subtilis which is having the DNA material inside the cell. In the first step DNA will starts to replicate, DNA will get elongated and it will starts to replicate, it will form a replica of DNA. After replication of DNA the cell have choice to form a septum either from this side or this side. As we have seen in binary fission, in the binary fission cell divides right through the center of the cell, but in case of spore formation the 70 percent portion is covered by mother cell and 30 percent portion it is covered by four spore. So, in this second step this newly replicated DNA will get separated and the plasma membrane will starts to surround the newly replicated DNA along with some cytoplasmic material. In next step the plasma membrane will be covered with some peptidoglycan materials and cell wall will start to develop and the remaining cell or the mother cell will start to engulf the newly formed four spore. During uh, next step after formation of spore 4 the peptidoglycan layer or complete cell wall will, st uh, will form around the four spore which is known as cortex. After formation of cortex the nuclear materials which is present in the mother cell will disintegrate and it will be de destroyed and after that the calcium ion will penetrate inside the cell and it will remove the water contained from the cell and it will form spore coat. So, spore coat will be formed uh, or after the formation of cortex. After formation of spore coat it will form a exosporium and this exosporium which maturate the spores which are highly durable or which, which can withstand the extreme condition of temperature pH and all. Once the spore get matured then the spores are released into uh, out of the cells or mother cells. Once the spores once the adverse condition passed out and the condition is or the environment is favorable for the growth of microorganisms, again the spore convert themselves to vegetative cells, this process is called as germination. So, vegetative cell before sporulation and after germination both vegetative cells are met metabolically active whereas, the endospore they are metabolically inactive. These are the dormant stage or resting stage of the bacteria which can withstand the extreme conditions. Again this is one of the schematic representation of the uh, sporulation process. So, sporulation it is a part of normal life cycle or can be triggered by adverse environmental conditions as I already explained. If the condition is not favorable for the growth of microorganism, then the microorganisms or bacteria can adopt sporulation process instead of binary fission or instead of normal cell division. So, endospore do not carry out metabolic reactions like normal vegetative cells because it is a resting stage or it is a dormant stage of bacteria. Endospore can remain dormant for thousands of years and the process of conversion of endospore to its vegetative cell is called as germination. Usually occurs when the environmental conditions become more favorable for
or the growth of microorganism. It can be triggered by physical or chemical damage to the spore coat and then these vegetative cells which are metabolically active stage of bacteria.